In a mood and inebriation are two things. And what I found quite astonishing is like when you see yourself right now I'm in the video and I'm seeing myself and I I feel dramatic and Elizabethan at this point. I'm channeling Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burden and Who's Afraid of Virginia Wolf, although they had American accents, they thought like a Brit. Uh, if I get very simplistic in my mind, I start speaking with a bit of Australian accent and it's open and rounded mouth and uh, I learn not to take things very personal um, but I get into more of a relaxed state with an Australian accent. I'm more dramatic with an English accent obviously. And these are my states of inebriation, obviously. And then my South African comes out, and I'm like, well, we mustn't, we mustn't stress, I eh? like, this is it, and I'm going to be very flat with this accent here. I haven't worked on my Welsh accent. It's very breathy. I have to get there. Not there. Yeah, this is drunk. Um, when I'm drunk, I speak in accents, and... It makes life a lot better that way, isn't it? Otherwise, it'd be quite boring, wouldn't it? One dimension and whatnot. Can't do that. I don't know why a person I love like a German. Because I'm thinking white people's terms. They talk from thin lips. Thin lips. German. Germans don't fall like vegans. Genau. Alles schön, alles gut. Right? Imagine me full, full lips. V Gates. Genau. Alles schön. Doesn't work. Palisadians are different. They're all about the work. So when they say it, they're like, Hi, I'd like a kale and quinoa salad. It works. I had like a kale and quinoa salad. No, they both can be said, but what's believable? Yeah. I am a product of my environment at this point.